Is it time to create something different with your life and your body? Right Body for You will inspire you and invite you to a different way of creating the body and the life you truly desire. Ready? Let's go. Here's your host, Danielle. And welcome to Right Body for You. I am your host, Danielle. Thank you so much for joining me today in the past, in the present, or even the future. Or the past, or I, I love how time isn't actually real in any of this. As a matter of fact, I just got back from a really interesting class. It was called Choice of Possibilities. It is one of the core classes of Access Consciousness, which Right Body for You uses the Access Consciousness tools. It is a specialty class of Access Consciousness. And uh, I was in Charleston for the very first time. I'd never been to Charleston. I was really excited to be there. And it was really interesting how time seemed to change and shift there. Um, It was quite a unique experience. I wasn't sure what um, uh, century I was in sometimes. And it wasn't just because, you know, it was the south of, you know, in the United States or that it had um, a lot of old buildings or anything. It was really, really interesting, you know, like uh, Rome bleeds time. It, It wasn't quite to that degree, but it was really interesting being there. And I had so much fun. So that was my long way around of saying thanks for listening anytime you listen, past, present, or future. Or if you've already listened to it, this is the second time. Thank you for joining me. All right. So, you know, I I had so much fun doing this, you guys. I I get to travel the world facilitating people into the joy that their body can be, the joy that their life can be, um, that they actually can just even doing, that they forget that they can actually be and have fun and do something that they enjoy, that lights them up, that makes them excited to get up. You know, how many of us get up in the morning and go, oh, I have to do something. I have to do work. I have to go here, do this, and have a to-do list instead of just waking up and going, yay, I get to do blah, 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 blah. You know, and that's what I love about the work that I do do with you guys is I get to wake up at all these amazing, brilliant places and play and help change the world, change people's bodies, change people's lives. You know, before the end of the year, I'll be facilitating classes in Edmonton, Canada, New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, Vienna, London, Manchester. I'm just so freaking excited. I get to wake up everyone and like, my to-do list is interesting. Like, my to-do list is buy a ticket to Vienna. Okay. Pack for Costa Rica on the same day. Pack for Costa Rica, buy a ticket to go to Vienna to facilitate a class. I just, I, and like I said, people get to be happy. You know, I get to travel the world. I get happier. People get happier. It is such a gift, such a creation. And I love sharing these tools with you each week. And I'm always so grateful when you guys take the time to listen and really choose because, you know, listening to the show, though it may not seem like it, is actually one of the things that helps you be a priority in your own life. And this is what we're talking about today. You know, my the title for the show today was a question. Do you know you're a priority? Because one thing I've discovered recently is a lot of people don't know their priority. I I didn't know I was a priority. And even if I somewhere, oh, I know I'm a priority, I did never actually make myself a priority, which is where it came into that really funky energy. And some of those places were I was having difficulty creating my life or enjoying my life or creating anything, right? And, you know, this came up fairly recently for me simply because I realized I had made 
myself such not a priority in my own life that family long I try my on my birthday I mean hello if there's one day a year you can it's like okay to make yourself a priority it's on your birthday right and they were trying to like make somebody else a priority on my birthday and it was really this weird like it was it was another family member's birthday that it was two months ago and they're like oh well, I guess we can celebrate Danielle too because this is her birthday I'm like thank you excuse me and so I said not across the board because my family threw me this really lovely surprise birthday party so yeah it wasn't across the board but it was just with a couple of members of my family. It was too. I'm like, and I I got mad, and I'm like, I can't believe I'm not a priority on my even birthday, and blah blah blah, and I have to fight for my birthday, blah 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 blah. And then I realized I hadn't made myself a priority. And and you know, this not making yourself a priority shows up many different ways, you guys. You know, it's like how many of us are really good at even if we do ask somebody for help or something, you know, even if we do say, oh, can you help me carry this down? Or, hey, can you help me pick up my car from the shop? And if they say, oh, you know what, I'm sorry, I can't. Or if they say something like, oh, I'm not sure, let me see if I can rearrange or, or oh, I'm not sure. And it starts to become a difficulty or what we perceive as a difficulty for them. That's when we start to go, oh, never mind, it's okay, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, I'll be fine. I'll take a cab home, I'll call an Uber, a Lyft, or I'll walk, or just no big deal, no big deal, it's okay, don't worry about it. You know, because even like we do this, uh, every year in my family we do this sister's lunch for our birthdays. Me and my two sisters, we get together and have lunch. And I was even like, oh, don't worry about it, if it's hard to get to it, it's just, you know, don't don't worry about it. And, you know, it's interesting because we do this under the guise of being easygoing. We do this under the guise of um, uh, not trying to create trouble for anybody or being easy, you know, that kind of stuff. And, yes, there is a place for that. It's like, you know, creating uh, creating trouble for people or being easygoing or, like, if things shift and change, not being, you know, not being so set in our ways that if something shifts and changes, it destroys our world instead of just being like, okay, now what? But most of us, including me, which is where I got this from, in that moment where we go, oh, you know, don't worry about it, it's not important. I would say, like, 90% of us don't do it just with the energy of, I was just trying to be easy, don't worry about it, but no big deal. What we're actually seeing, we we bring an energy of, don't worry about us, we're no big deal. We're no big deal, don't worry, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't think about us. Don't worry about us. We're no big deal. We we don't have to have a place in the world. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Right? And it's that energy underneath that is really something that we I wanted to bring to the surface and look at. Okay? Because, yes, if somebody, you know, can't pick you up, it's not because you're a pile of poo. It could just be, you know, their life is they have a, a meeting at that time or something. So it's not that. It's the energy underneath where we go, it's no big deal. I'm not important. You know what? You are important. And it's not about proving your important in somebody else's life. It's about proving not it's not even about proving, I'm sorry. It's it's not about proving yourself important to somebody else's life. It's not about proving you're important to the world. It's about allowing yourself to be a priority in your own life. I mean, really, how many of us don't actually make ourselves a priority in our own lives? Okay. I know I wasn't. And here's the thing, you know, hashtag energy bitch, right? I'm always saying that, that I'm energy bitch. 
And um, so with this, one thing I've become, always become really aware of is what energy we're being and where, okay? So let me say straight out at the beginning of the show, making you a priority in your own life does not mean you dismiss other people. It does not mean you separate from other people. It does not mean that you think you're better or that, you know, it's only about you or that it's a, um, uh, you know, your way or the highway and only your opinion matters. You know, it's none of those things. It, this is a really actually interesting controversial topic because, you know, this came up for me with the radio show recently and then, uh, or sorry, with my birthday recently, right? And then when we're, so each, uh, each month with, you know, Right Body for You is a book. It's a workshop that I get to facilitate. It's also, you know, it's a specialty class of access consciousness. And in that specialty class of access consciousness, I get to be what is called the creative producer um, of Right Body for You. And in that, we are doing these monthly facilitator create calls because we're actually having more people become Right Body for You facilitators, yay, around the world. And so we do these monthly create calls. And so I asked, I was having a conversation with Right Body for You, and I'm like, well, hey, what should we talk about with facilitators this, this month? And so this energy of this making yourself a priority came up. I'm like, okay, great, you know, let's explore that. And I'm like, oh, it'll be a quick little call, you know, we'll do a few processes. Throw out that, hey, what have you made a prior you a priority for your own life? And um, so, <laughs> oh, sorry, my dear Safia, she in the I'm laughing at the chat room, not the voices in my head. And um, when I said as a creative producer for my body for you, she put in creative juicer. That too, I kind of like that. It reads in a different way. Thank you. Um, so when I brought up for the Right Body for You Facilitate Your Create call, and it was like, hey, what if you make your priority in your life? You know, how would that change your body? How would that change your business? How would that change your classes? Because, you know, in Right Body for You Facilitate Your Create calls, we talk about the classes that we're doing and creating. And um, we went over, we instead of like the half hour call I was expecting, we went an hour and like 10, 15 minutes or something. It was a very controversial topic and it was kind of fun to see um, because we had people there with were sons, daughters, parents, um, people who were creating their own classes, people who were creating classes for other people. And it was really interesting to see all these different places that we had made um uh, ourselves the last on the list you know we put children first spouses first jobs first or that old making money first I have to create a living once I get the money figured out then I'll have fun with my life you know that's the way I was you know one of the things um, my very first certified facilitators class with access consciousness which is the class you have to do to be able to facilitate access consciousness classes which right body for you is right and so my very first certified facilitators class, um, Gary asked us something about money. And it's like, well, what did you, uh, what's your point of view about money? Or sorry, you know, what was your, what was your point of view about starting your own business or being an entrepreneur? And I realized, I spoke up and I realized my point of view was that I had to um, be financially stable before I could start my own business. And so in that, I had made money and stability a priority over any creation of my life or anything else. So it's really interesting the places that we make other things a priority in our lives. Like I said, children, spouses, job, making money, keeping the peace. You know, I know some people who are in an abusive relationship and they make keeping the peace more of a priority than not taking crap or standing up for themselves or not being hit or just or being happy, 
you know? And so and it's really interesting the energy that this actually creates. So let me say again, it's about the energy we're putting out when we don't make ourselves a priority. Okay. So we're going to take a first little break. And when we come back, we're going to really look at the energy and talk about the energy that is created, that is put forth when we make other things a priority and we make us and our bodies last on the list. Okay. This is Danielle. You're listening to Right Body for You on Inspired Choices Network. And we'll be right back. The life and the body you secretly hope for is possible. Somewhere you know that, right? What if creating that body and life is not about deprivation and sacrifice? Would you be willing to choose it? What if it could be as simple as changing how you look at things? Right Body for You with Danielle is a different kind of radio show. Each week, Danielle invites you to you. She shares simple tools that you can use immediately to create changes in your body and your life. Something different begins now. Listen for Right Body for You every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. What if there's nothing wrong with you? What if you're far greater than you've ever given yourself credit for? What if it's time to know the gift and the contribution you are to the world and to like yourself a lot more? Hi, my name is Dane here. 13 years ago, I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question, and everything changed for me. Asking questions opens doors to infinite possibilities. And it's not about finding the answer. It's about being the question. Always. What I'm inviting you to step into is something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Newton, Da Vinci, Gandhi, Picasso, and Aristotle all knew to be true. What if no question is too big or too small? What if anything is possible for you? What if together we could create a kinder, gentler, happier world? Is now the time? Go to beingyouclass.com and sign up for a free video series, My Gift to You. Beingyouclass.com What if you, truly being you, are the gift and change this world requires? Beingyouclass.com This is Right Body for You with Danielle. To participate in the program today, please call toll-free in the U.S. 815-880-8255 or Canada 613-800-8736 or you can Skype us at Inspire Choices Network. If you'd like to email a question, please send it to Danielle at AccessConsciousness.com. Now, back to the program. And welcome back to Right Body for You. I am Danielle. Thank you for joining me today as we explore this very interesting topic of making yourself a priority. Um, and, you know, this energy of making yourself a priority, it has a lot of controversy to it. I get it. I really do. Because it comes up against this thing of selfish, selfish. You like how I even had to whisper it? It's like, well, if you make yourself a priority, you're just being selfish. And, you know, selfish is a bad thing. So I thought, let's do that. Let's, let's have that be one of the first things we talk about. I have a different point of view when we come and talk about being selfish. Okay. I looked this up. As you guys know, I love looking at the words and where words came from and the energy behind it and the energy that's brought up when we use it and things like that, okay? And remember, you always want to look at the original definitions of words because that's when the energy matched the creation of the word, okay? So I looked up the word selfish, and here's what I found out. You ready for this? So selfish is, in this day and age, the, the it, selfish is described devoted or to or caring only for oneself, um, concerned primarily with one's own interests, benefits, welfare, etc., regardless of others. I love how they throw that in at the end, regardless of others. Or characterized by or manifesting concern or care only for oneself. Okay, I get that. 
That's what this reality calls selfish. Okay. Well, I looked at the original definition of the word selfish. All right. So selfish is actually, um, it's an archbishop in like the 1600s that used it, but he used it from the two words self and ish. So I took a step further and I looked up this self and ish. Okay. So selfish is, for those of you who English is not your first language, it's S-E-L-F-I-S-H. Okay. So the root word of that is self. Okay. Which the original definition of self is oneself. Personally, I always think it's funny when the root or the word you're looking up is used to describe the original word, um, oneself, <laughs> right? Okay. So an ish, I-S-H, is a suffix. It's things we put onto words to, um, it's like gender, right? In English, we don't use gender, like feminine, masculine for, you know, words like in Spanish, um, but we do use these, these suffixes to, to um, change a word or add a word or, you know, um, help shift the meaning a little bit, okay? And so it's a suffix for a noun, which is like what self is, um, and with the sense of belonging to, okay? And so when we break down the word selfish, it's actually belonging to oneself, this is the selfish belonging to oneself. I'm like, well, I can belong to me. That works. I kind of like that. Kind of shifts the energy when you look at that, right? It's like, oh, well, I can belong to me. That's cool. It has a sense of, ish means belong, the sense of belonging to, okay, self, oneself. Oh, I can belong to oneself. I belong to oneself. I can do that, okay? And then the other thing about being selfish in this reality, right, it's like in this reality, selfish is we go against everybody. That's not what the that way it is either, okay? Um, that's, that's this day and age definition. My point of view about being selfish is please take that time. Be kind to you. Be kind to your body. Do the things it requires. Um, you know, one of the things I hear most, because in the workshops that I do all over the world, we talk about eating what your body desires to eat. And it's like, I don't have time to eat what my body desires to eat because I not have to cook something or I'd have to, um, you know, it just takes up so much time or, you know, I was going to go get a massage, but I didn't have time, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so we make these excuses. And... Sometimes it is, well, I was so busy taking care of others, I didn't have time to take care of myself. Okay. Here at the core of this, if you aren't willing to take care of you and your body, what happens to you? Okay. Really, what happens to you when you don't take care of you and your body? Do you thrive? Or do you just really barely survive? And I mean barely survive. You know, it's interesting in um, hospice a lot, which... Hospice is a, um, it's not a community, it's a company, it's a organization, there we go, there's the word. It's an organization in the United States, and I'm sure other countries have um, a similar, similar organizations. But a hospice in the U.S., what it does is it cares for those who are dying. So it's like if somebody tells you, oh, my grandmother's in hospice, what that is meaning is she's in her last usually six months of life, okay? And so they come in and they contribute to those who are um, dying. But what hospice also does that not a lot of people talk about, hospice is also really concerned about the caretakers, those who are taking care of those who are dying, okay? Um, because... It, studies have shown, hospice studies, worldwide studies, that often it will be the caretakers of those who are sick and dying who fail and who die sometimes even first before those who they are taking care of. Why is that? 
because they spend so much time only paying attention and caring for the sick and dying, and they don't take time caring for themselves, that they literally, um, uh, they, sorry, they literally disintegrate themselves. They diminish themselves. They use themselves up energetically, physically, emotionally. They will literally drain themselves, taking care of another person, and then they will die or fail. Fail being in so many different ways, right? I experienced this myself. This is one thing I know. You know, I spent over two years caring for my grandparents during the last few years of their life. And I learned this from hospice because hospice came in and they're like, oh, well, because my mom and I were the primary caretakers for her parents, right? And so hospice would come in to, quote, unquote, take care of the patient, which they did, you know, to do the blood and um, that kind of stuff. And then they would go, hey, we're going to be here for an hour. Why don't you go to grocery store? Why don't you, we'll be here for two hours. Why don't you go for a movie? Why don't you go for a walk? Why don't you take a nap? Why don't you do something like that? And, of course, me and my mother, like so many other people in the world, oh, no, we're okay. It's okay. And so, basically, they had to strong talk us. They're like, no, listen, you go take care of you. We got this. You need to nurture and care for yourself as well. If for nothing else, so you have more of you to take care of these other people, take care of my grandparents, right? So they would come in. They would give us chair massages. They would, uh, like I said, they would watch over my grandparents while we went to a movie for an afternoon. It was such a gift. And what it did is it recharged our batteries. We came back and going, okay, we have more energy. We can We can continue to do what is required. Okay, so when I look at this thing being selfish, it's like in this reality, selfish is when you do things for you, you're being selfish. Actually, I think not taking care of you is what this reality would call selfish. Okay, because when you don't take care of you, when you're not um, the priority, see where I work this in? Uh Uh-huh. If you're not being a priority for your own life, you have less of you to share with the world. And the world is asking for you to show up. Not a shade of you, not a portion of you, not a tiny little bit, that part that you can just eek by, but you, who you are, who you be, and your strength and potency. Because when you're you and your strength and potency, that's the place That's the being that changes the world. That's the one that can heal people, can take care of people, do everything that's required. So if you don't take care of you, you have less of you to share with the world. And I think that's the biggest travesty, if you have less of you to share with the world. Okay? So make yourself a priority because when you make yourself a priority and take care of you, You actually have the energy, the capacity, and the strength into your potency to elicit and be the change that you're asking for and be the powerhouse that I know you are. Okay. All right. So, I mean, because look at what happened with my grandparents. When we, when my mother and I weren't taking care of ourselves, when we weren't getting the sleep, when we weren't taking that moment for going to a movie, for going to the grocery store, we weren't able to take care of our grandma, well, her parents, my grandparents. We weren't able to do what we needed to do because we had depleted ourselves. We had drained ourselves. Okay. What if there was actually a strength and a potency to making you a priority, to taking care of you? Because when you do that, you have you. And if you don't have you, who do you be? What do you be? You be less. 
than you be. You'd be less than your potency, less than your strength, less than than what is possible in the world. And what if that is one of the places that we get into this, I feel like less than everybody. Well, what if it's just that you feel less of you? Okay. What if this is, what if making yourself a priority, taking care of yourself, is one of the keys to changing that inferiority or those places where we feel less or that we don't deserve. Okay. Why not? I told you. It was an interesting topic, a little controversial, and I'm, I'm really excited to see where this goes and to further explore it. Okay. So we're going to take a quick little break. Um, and when we come back, I actually have a couple tips for helping to make you a priority. I'm going to share that in the second half of the show here. Um, And we're also going to talk um, besides like not taking care of yourself and so you have less of you to share with the world, what that energy does when you're not a priority in your own life, what that energy does and shows the rest of the world, okay? All right. We are you, you, (laughs) are listening to Right Body for You. I'm Danielle, and you're listening to Inspired Choices Network, and we'll be right back. The life and the body you secretly hope for is possible. Somewhere you know that, right? What if creating that body and life is not about deprivation and sacrifice? Would you be willing to choose it? What if it could be as simple as changing how you look at things? Right Body for You with Danielle is a different kind of radio show. Each week, Danielle invites you to you. She shares simple tools that you can use immediately to create changes in your body and your life. Something different begins now. Listen for Right Body for You every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. What would you say if I told you that you could change your life in only one hour and all while lying down relaxing? Thousands of people all over the world have. What am I talking about? It's called Access Consciousness The Bars. The Bars is an energetic body process that contains 32 different points on your head that when run assist you in releasing decisions about any area of your life that you have made solid and as a result cannot change. The Bars is the first class in Access Consciousness a dynamic set of tools and information designed to transform any area of your life. When you have a bar session, the worst that can happen is you feel like you had a fantastic massage. The best thing that can happen is your whole life could change. Go to accessconsciousness.com today to find a facilitator to schedule a private session or to find a bars class in your area. Are you willing to give yourself an hour to change your life? This is Right Body for You with Danielle. To participate in the program today, please call toll-free in the U.S., 815-880-8255, or Canada, 613-800-8736, or you can Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. If you'd like to email a question, please send it to danielle at accessconsciousness.com. Now, back to the program. And welcome back to Right Body for You. I am your host, Danielle. Thank you for joining me today in the past or the present. Um, And before we get too much further, I really want to invite you to a call I'm doing an hour after this call ends. Um, After the radio show ends in one hour, I will be doing this call about the Right Body for You tools in action. You know, I'm doing this for the first time ever in Right Body for You or Access History. I'm doing this class called my body for you tools in action okay you know because i get to share these tools with you on the radio i get to share these tools with you in a right body for you workshop and one of the things i hear most is i wish i could take you with me and put you in my pocket so i know um for sure when to use what tool and where and and that kind of stuff and so I thought this would be a lot of fun to create a class called Right Body for You, Tools in Action. And what it is is a place where um, we use the tools. 
we don't present the tools, we're actually using the tools. And I get to be there to, with you to um, fine tune them, to help you actually listen to your body. Um, and if you have a little uncertainty about the tool, I get to be there to help you get the clarity of using the tools. It's a practical application of the Right Body for You tools. And I've been having a lot of questions, a lot of emails and things like that about it. It's like, well, what about this? What about this? What about this? What are we going to do? With this kind of stuff. And so I'm having a free Zoom call about it, okay? It's just an informational call. Of we're going to go through some of the uh, uh, agenda, agenda as in schedule events, um, what we're going to do, places. I'm going to show some pictures, um, processing, of course. If I'm talking, I'm processing as well. And it's free for all. It's a Zoom event just to give information out about this. And I know some of you are like, Oh my gosh, I'm listening to the show in the future and it's, this call has already happened. Don't worry, I always do replays. Um, it'll either be on Right Body for You, sorry, I'll be on Donnell.com, D O N N I E L L E dot com. Or, so it will either be on Donnell.com or it'll also be somewhere on Facebook. You know how we love our social media. Um, and so check it out. It's Right Body for You Tools in Action, and it's in New Orleans, um, one of my favorite cities in the world. I can't wait to share that with some of you, okay? Some of you, meaning those of you who are going, which all of you come and play, okay? Um, and so <laughs> Safia in the dear chat room, she said she's already been buying handbag shoes and clothes. She's ready um, to come play. Are you ready to come play with us in New Orleans? So you can check it out, Danielle.com. Um, you can find out the Zoom details. There's an event in uh, it's called Right Body for You Tools in Action Info Call, I believe. Um, so you can check out the event on Facebook. All right. All right. So today we're talking about making yourself a priority. Okay. And this has been a lot of controversy. It has. I've brought it up in a few different places, and it's been a lot of controversy, and it's been really fun to see how this has been showing up and what else it has been creating, okay? And so one of the first things um, that – one of the things that, for me, that it really brought up was what's this doing to my business? Okay, because, I mean, let's be, you know, I can be honest. My business is you guys, assisting you, playing with you, um, helping you get clarity, helping you enjoy your body, shift and change the energy around thing, right? Um, and I do, quote, unquote, my business by the radio show, by the workshops, by private sessions, and all that kind of stuff, or the right by view tools in action, right? And but have you noticed one of the real common factors of this is is you guys, okay? Um, because my business is playing with you guys, and it's really interesting how the energy shifted and changed. Because when I was like, "Oh crap, I haven't made myself a priority in my business," in my sorry, in my life. What energy does that put into my business? It makes me not a priority or my classes a priority for you guys as well. It's like if I'm not a priority in my life, the energy that puts out into the world is I'm not a priority. Don't worry. You can come to my class. You can not come to class. You can listen to my radio show. You can not listen to my radio show. It's okay because I'm not really a priority in the world. I'm not even a priority in my own life. So why would you, you know, have the desire to come play with me if I can't even make a priority? Oh, yeah, go play with, you know, go to do the Ferris wheel that day or whatever because, you know, nothing I have to say or would contribute to you. And so it was really interesting how that shifted and changed because it's like it's not that with me making me a priority in my life and my body a priority in my life. What that does is it actually invites you to more and energetically invites you to more of my classes and being with me. Simply because 
if I'm not making a priority, I am putting out there into the world, don't worry about me, I'm nothing. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Dismiss me. It's okay. Which for those of us who are in the in the business of playing with people, how much of an invitation that is, how much of an invitation is that to people, right? It's like, I'm not a priority, don't worry, you don't have to choose me. And then everybody else goes, great, I don't have to choose you, okay? This is not about you making me a priority in your life. But if I'm not a priority in my life, why would you even want to come play with me, right? And not only is it for, like, facilitators with access or right by few classes or anything like that, but a lot of us have client-based business. Oh, well, actually, isn't most things client-based? Because it's like you can create something great, but if nobody buys it, receives it, or chooses it, you're not making a much of a money or with it, right? And so it's like this also changes how you be with your own business. Because if you put out the energy into the world, you're not a priority for you. No one else is going to make you priority either, Okay. Like I said, this is not about making you making me a priority. It's about me even inviting you. If I'm such, if I can't even be an invitation to myself, why would I be an invitation to you? If I can't be a priority to myself, why would I be an invitation to you? Okay? And so it's like not only is this not making you a priority or your body a priority, not only does that affect how much you have to share with the world, it also affects things like, oh, people choosing to play with you, whether it's in a business, whether it's in a romantic, whether it's in um, uh, even a party situation. It's like you really wonder how many people who are, like, quote, unquote, popular. You know, I don't know about you, but I was a huge non-popular person in high school, okay? Um, and... So what was interesting is in that, and I can look back upon that, and I was making myself so not a priority, so uh, taking care of others first, that I was just kind of like wishy-washy. I was just kind of like, oh, you don't have to talk to me. It's okay. You don't have to date me. It's okay. I wouldn't date me either. Ha, 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 ha. Actually, that was true, right? So. So that's been making myself a priority. Again, pri- making you a priority is not about separation. It's not about making you better. It's not about um, something that um, makes you um, – it's not about separation. It's not about expectations. It's not about making you better. It's not about um, proving. It's just really about you choosing you. And when you choose you, you have more of you to share with the world. And then you also have that energy of invitation of going, hey, you know what? I make me a priority. I have so much fun with me. You should come have fun with me. And like I said, I don't, you know, whatever your quote unquote business is, it has to do with people. I have really yet to find a business that doesn't have something to do with people. I know even if you're like, you know, well, a gardener or a farmer or anything like that, ultimately your business will have to do with people. And tell me that this energy wouldn't shift and change also the way that you commune with plants and nature and the earth or anything like that, okay? And, and you know, because one of the things in Access and Right Body Free we talk about is putting, with money, is putting 10% away of all money that comes into you. You find a $10 bill, you put a dollar away. You get paid, you put 10% away um, to show the universe that you are the most important thing in your life, okay? Because if you pay bills first or anything like that, what you're telling the universe is the bills are the most important thing in your life, okay? This is the same energy behind that concept is if you're putting everything else and everyone else as a priority in your life ahead of you, you have less of you, you're showing the world you're not a priority. So what are you going to get it back? You not being a priority for anybody else as well, okay? 
And it's like I said, it's not that they have to make you better than them, but it's like they won't choose you. They won't be there for you. They won't um, uh, step up and be there when you require. Because what's interesting, guys, the more I've made me a priority, the more I've received. Interesting concept, isn't it? All right. We're going to take our last little break, and when we come back, I'm going to quickly go through the how to help you be a priority in your life. Um, some of it, some of it we've already talked about. So I'm just going to make it blatant. Okay. All right. So this is Danielle. You're listening to Right Body for You on Inspired Choices Network, and we'll be right back. The life and the body you secretly hope for is possible. Somewhere you know that, right? What if creating that body and life is not about deprivation and sacrifice? Would you be willing to choose it? What if it could be as simple as changing how you look at things? Right Body for You with Danielle is a different kind of radio show. Each week, Danielle invites you to you. She shares simple tools that you can use immediately to create changes in your body and your life. Something different begins now. Listen for Right Body for You every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. What if you really do change molecules by your interaction with them? What if the change you've been looking for is right before your eyes? What if the uncomfortableness that comes with difference could be fun? What if the closed-minded people of the world no longer determined our world? What if gratitude trumps judgment every time? What if your kindness healed the world? What if the earth is asking for your help? And what if you had the resources to give it? This is your invitation to step into something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Picasso, Da Vinci, Shakespeare, Aristotle all knew to be true. Hi, my name is Dane here. Thirteen years ago I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question and everything changed for me. What if there are no dumb questions? Or any question too large? What if you being you are the gift and the change this world requires? Is now the time? For more questions to create a change in your world, sign up for a free video series at beingyouclass.com. My gift to you, beingyouclass.com. This is Right Body for You with Danielle. To participate in the program today, please call toll-free in the U.S. 815-880-8255 or Canada 613-800-8736 or you can Skype us at Inspire Choices Network. If you'd like to email a question, please send it to Danielle at AccessConsciousness.com. Now, back to the program. And welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining me today in the past or in the future. I'm so grateful. Um, so really quickly, we're talking about making yourself a priority for your life and what that does and what that doesn't do. And so I think you guys are starting to get the gist of that it's not about making you better than other people. It's not about making you um, separate from other people or superior in any way. Really, it's just about if you make you a priority, you receive more. People play with you more. And you're telling the universe you are actually somebody who can be a contribution and receive contribution. And then you actually have more of you to share with the world, okay? And I don't, I'm a big fan of sharing you with the world, okay? That's ultimately what all of my classes are about, is about helping you to share you with the world, helping you to have you to share with the world, okay? So really quickly, one of the things to do to help you make you a priority is, number one, demand it. Choose it. As Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness, is always talking about, choose it and then demand it. I will be a priority in my life. I will. My body will be a priority in my life. So what do you do to show the universe and yourself that you're a priority in your life? You actually do it. For me, that's begun with doing something nurturing for me and my body and my business every day. Okay. It could be creating a graphic for my business. It could be running around the block for my business. It could be uh, taking a nap for my body or me or whatever it is or what a quote-unquote brain break, right? I chatted with a friend for being a pri- 
for helping me be a priority, okay? So when you take that time for yourself, you have you. You can share you. You're a priority. The universe will make you a priority as well, okay? Because if you dismiss you, oh, it's not important, just choose everybody else or do, you know, you don't have to help me, you don't have to do this, blah, 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 blah. Then you know what? You make you not a priority, and the universe makes you not a priority. You put out that energy of dismissal. How much does that actually create your life and your business and your body? Not a whole lot. Kind of the opposite, actually. Okay? So play with it. Make you a priority. See what else is possible when you allow that energy to be in your life. Okay? All right, you guys. And join me in an hour for the informational call about Right Body For You Tools in Action. Um, the amazing Leah, I know, has put the um, Zoom details in the event for the informational call. And if she hasn't already, I bet she will put it in the event for Right Body For You Tools in Action in general. Um, that's this September. That's next month, you guys. Right Body View um, Tools in Action is September 20th through the 24th. Um, first time ever. It's a practical application for the Right Body for You tools. And I get to be there and share the city with you and all these fun things I have planned. And um, I will show you pictures. We'll do some processing on this free Zoom call. So please do check it out and play. Come show up. It's free for everyone. Um, even if this is the first time you've ever heard the show, come on and check it out. You always want a little bit more information about it. Now is the time. Okay. All right. Um, and there is also one of the prereqs. I'll tell you one of the prereqs is a right body for you class. Okay. It's a right body for you workshop because we're not presenting the tools. We're using the tools, but never fear. Um, between now and then is a right body for you tool, a uh, right body for you workshop in Edmonton, Canada. Oh, can't make it to Canada. It's okay. You can also do it live on um, live on stream. Stream stream it live. You can do it over your computer. How about that? You can join us via your computer and um, have a lot of fun with that. Okay. Um, and you can find all of this out at Danielle.com. D o n n i e l l e k dot com. So Danielle.com. You can find out about. Um, the Edmonton class. You can also find out about Vienna. Um, first weekend and second weekend in September, I'm doing a three-day body class in Vienna, Austria. Oh, I love Vienna, you guys. Come check it out. And as I mentioned earlier, I'll be back in Vienna for Right Body Few workshop in November. And I'll also be in Manchester for a Right Body Few one-day class. And then after that in London for a Right Body Few workshop and a three-day body class also in London. So you can get that one, two, combination, potent powerhouse of the Right Body For You workshop and then an Access Consciousness three-day class. And trust me, you don't want to miss that combo. It's freaking amazing. And um, Vienna and London are two of my favorite cities, so it's, it's going to be fun to play with you there. But you can go to Donnell.com and check out all of that, okay? Um, and I hope to see you guys, a lot of you in an hour after the radio show for the New Orleans Right Body for You Tools in Action 2017 New Orleans informational call. I'll show you some pictures of what we're going to be doing, where we're going to be. I'll give you details about the schedule of events, um, what's required, uh, when you'll get more information, and all of that kind of stuff. All right, so that's in an hour. You can find the information out on Facebook. If not, the replay is always available too, okay? All right, so thank you guys so much for joining us. Make it a fun week. Make it a happy week. Enjoy your body because it's enjoying you. And you know what? Until I see you, hug you soon. As always, have fun, you guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for listening to Right Body for You. Danielle will return next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you and your body will join us. Until then, have fun. <laughs>